America and Africa, forgetting that there are a large number of African people who are American people who uh, have more of an ethnic or cultural tie to the, the Caribbean. <coughs> So I'm just getting my final few minutes of warning. So we can see that this underlying uh, violence um, is sustained within uh, the, these uh, examples. And again, just to continue with uh, political correctness, um, I think I'm going to have to extend this to, to two videos now. Um, just to extend uh, this example of political correctness, not only when we... Uh, use uh, these politically correct terms, but we presuppose um, a number of things, um, perhaps um, malice over ignorance, for example. Um, if we exist, or if we subsist, exist in a society um, where there is a politically uh, correct framework of language, um, then we are obliged to know and learn this and also be aware of the fluctuations. We're also uh, uh, obliged to, to, to properly use uh, this language. But what we also have to remember is that language is inherited, okay? We inherit our language uh, and, and our way to communicate. So within this term political correctness, the political dimension may be lacking as where is, the, is, the, is this a democratic act um, that there is no vote. It seems to be established by some uh, meth means or methods outside of a political spectrum. Um, now, if it is deemed by, the, by a political center, for example, a government, to be the acceptable term, then what it could also be happening is a presu uh, presupposing that the failure to use the politically correct term is uh, an antagonistic or uh, negative uh, verbal usage uh, or verbal act, speech act. That if we fail to use the politically correct term, what we are doing um, is communicating uh, negativity as opposed to ignorance. Where outside of this political spectrum, for example, the difference between, say, Ireland and America, um, where certain politically correct terms, again, remember, um, Ireland has its own political system and, and political identity and political and the social reality and so on and so forth, and, and linguistic uses, that it might not adopt or agree with um, America, and we can see uh, certain conflicts and contrasts of political correct languages <coughs> um, outside of America with other um, Western and, and even outside Eastern uh, uh, countries. For example, the, the constant uh, the, the discussion between uh, the term uh, um, Indian, uh, Native Indian, um, uh, or First Nation, or so on and so forth in, in, in North America, um, the plethora of uh, um, meanings and uh, insults and negativities thrown around. Um, by that, and the Indian, uh, Indian, for example, uh, the, the term Indian being wrong, well, uh, it at least being preserved uh, was an, an error, of course, uh, when when the Europeans landed in North America, they thought they landed in India, and they, they, they named everyone Indians, and so it's kind of a reminder of the European ignorance, but then even to be, uh, you know, uh, that to be deemed by um, uh, uh, say the American government or Canadian government to not be acceptable. Now it seems that the the, the native Indians aren't even allowed to have their joke, um, are aren't even allowed to have uh, the identity that was robbed or given to them, or the or the politics that ensues afterwards. So we have a number, of, a, a constant problem with how it is we properly use these uh, these words, these terms, uh, and and how and what can be presupposed because within so ultimately we see within a political correct framework, failure to use the politically correct term can result in uh, something to be read as malicious, whereas it could just ultimately be ignorance. Um, now, that also does not give us free license to say, well, to use whatever terms we want uh, uh, 
and 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 feign ignorance or you know overreaction on the other party. So we do have a bit of a conflict. We can't just you know. Um, hope everyone takes everything we say as best but also we can't presuppose that because someone does not adhere to our own political correct framework that they are themselves being malicious. Um, I, I will end with this last example or, or just last um, statement. Um, Buddha once gave an example, it was a parable he gave to, to one of his followers. He said if, if someone gives you a gift and you do not accept it. Who is left with the gift? It's of course, the, the the person who who has it, uh, who tried to give it to you. It says, well, what if someone tries to give you an insult, and you do not take it? Who's left with it? Who's left with the negativity? So it seems negativity uh, from speech acts uh, or, or, or political correctness um, might only be in what we choose to take from it. Now, again, um, within the simple symbolic use of, uh, of or, or symbolic violent acts, we can use these words knowingly and um, um, willingly uh, hurt, uh, to hurt, but uh, we just must maybe stay aware and realize that there can be a, uh, um, a number of possible meanings and that political well and ultimately to end everything is that political correctness um, can itself have these uh, systemic elements of violence um, that uh, or these violent ele elements found within its, its system um, that produce other negativities so um, ultimately we can see our systemic and symbolic violence um, exist as objective which themselves um, are manifest in some sort of materiality um, that we ha see and accept as being the norm or the social norm and the very uh, foundation of our social reality um, yet when we take a step back and look at it anew and realize that the, he, they're stealing wheelbarrows themselves um, as the, the example from the beginning, um, we can then see uh, these underlying types of violences and then they become as readily identifiable as the subjective violence um, as someone walking up and punching me in the face. And to leave it at that, folks, thank you very much and best of luck. I will be leaving uh, course reviews and exam tips on the internet soon. So uh, all the best and thank you very much for tuning in. Bye now.